Hi everybody, this is Miss John Sokol. How are you guys doing? I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. All right, so today we are going to read a story called Liam's Library. Are you guys ready? Thumbs up if you're ready. Awesome, give me a high five. All right, good job, let's get started. Take a look at the front cover, Liam's Library. What do you think this story is gonna be about? Say to yourself, I think this story is going to be about, okay, and maybe you can share that with a family member or just keep it to yourself and see if your prediction is confirmed or correct at the end of the story, right? Your prediction could be, I think this story is about a boy named Liam going to the library. Or I think this story might be about a boy named Liam who has a library because it says Liam's library, okay? So before we dive in, let's read the blurb on the back of the book, okay? Good readers always do that. And the purpose of the blurb is to kind of just give us um, an idea what the story might be about. It might give us some clues and, um, and get us excited to read the story. So let's read it together. It says, what, how, why? Liam is a boy who has a lot of questions, but no one seems to have time to answer them. How will Liam find answers? Hmm, wow. Does the blurb give you a little bit more um, clues of what the story might be about? I know it did for me, right? The blurb tells us it's about a boy named Liam who has a lot of questions, just like most kids do. But then no one seems to have time to answer them. You know, I have a question myself. I wonder why. I wonder why no one has time to answer questions for him. And then it ends with a question. And sometimes blurb ends with a question so we can find the answers to it. How will Liam find answers? Wow, what do you guys think? How will he find answers? Hmm, I don't know. What does the front cover say? Does that give you a clue? Well, so today we're going to read to find out. All right, we're going to read to find out how will Liam find the answers. And we're going to read more about Liam. Okay? All right, so before we begin, I want to tell you that this story is a realistic fiction. That means the characters are, re are like real people and the events could really happen. As we read, let's pay attention to the characters and what they do. And hopefully we can answer this question too. How will Liam find answers? Okay. And you know what? I have a question myself. I wonder what kind of questions does Liam have? All right. So did you guys see how I did that? Good readers always ask questions. They ask questions before, during, and after the reading to understand the text better. So if you have questions, feel free to ask them to yourself, okay? All right, let's begin. So right here, this page here is called the title page. It says Liam's Library. Again, I'm gonna turn the page. All right, follow along. Liam was a little boy. He had a lot of questions. He asked questions all the time. <gasps> but people didn't have time to answer him. Right, so let's take a look at pages two and three. It looks like Liam and his parents are ready for the day to begin. So can you tell me who has questions? That's right. It's Liam. Liam has questions. And who is busy? Who's busy? Yes, his parents, they're busy. Okay. Liam asked Mrs. Green, what happens if you eat a bug? She was busy. Look it up, she said. Liam asked the bus driver, what makes
makes the bus go? The bus driver was busy. Look it up, he said. All right, let's take a look at pages four and five. Where is Liam going? Where is Liam going? Who does Liam talk to? I don't know, maybe Liam's going to school and he is talking to Mrs. Green and the bus driver, right? Okay. right follow along. Before lunch, Liam asked the nurse, why should I wash my hands? <laughs> the nurse was busy. Look it up, he said. Liam asked the cook, what are taste buds? The cook was busy. Look it up, she said. So on pages six to seven, you can see that Liam is talking to the school nurse. And then he goes to lunch. Liam asked his teacher, why is my foot asleep? His teacher said, good question, look it up. But where can I look it up? Liam asked. The teacher took Liam to the library. So let's take a look at pages eight and nine. What is Liam doing now? Looks like he's in the classroom, right? He has another question. And where is the teacher taking him to? That's right, the library. Liam read about bugs. He learned that some people do eat bugs. Liam read about buses. He learned that engines make them go. So where is Liam now? He's in the library. Yes. So pay attention to what he's reading. Liam read that washing his hands keeps germs away. Liam read about the human body. He learned that taste buds help him taste food. Liam read that his foot was asleep because he sat on it for too long. Liam loved reading all the books. He loved looking up his questions. So where is he now? He's at home, reading, in bed. And what about here? Looks like he might be at the library again reading. So do you, do you think he found answers to his questions? He loved finding the answers. What questions does Liam ask? Analyze story elements. What is the solution to Liam's problem? Okay. So. Thank you for reading along with us. Let's read again soon. Okay, so I'm gonna stop that. All right, so let's take a look at page 16. What is Liam carrying? Yes, he's carrying books. So, how will Liam find answers? Did we find the um, answer to this question? So how did Liam find the answers? What did he do? He went to the library, right? And he searched for answers from books, okay? All right, did you guys like the story? So this is what I want, us, want you to do now. 
Now that we've finished reading the story, okay, I want you to take a look at these questions here, okay? So on a piece of paper, I want you to answer these questions. Who is the main character in the story? Number two, when and where does the story take place? Number three, what is the character's problem? Number four, what does Liam want to know? And number five, how does he find answers to his questions? Okay, so when you answer these questions, make sure to answer in a complete sentence. So for example, number one, who is the main character in the story? Okay, don't just say the character's name, right? So who do you think is the main character? It's Liam, right? So don't just say Liam, say the main character in the story is Liam. Okay, I know I gave the answer away for number one. Same thing with number two. All right, number two. Whoops. Number two, when and where does the story take place? You would start by saying, by writing, the story takes place where? When and where, right? For example, does it take place at the beach? I know it doesn't, but this is just an example. If it does, you would say, the story takes place at the beach in the daytime. Okay? All right, that is it for today. Thank you for joining me. So remember, uh, good readers always ask questions before, during, and after their reading. They always read the blurb on the back. They make predictions, right? So thank you for joining me. Till next time. Bye-bye.